Hello everyone, how's it going? Vasco here. So in this lesson we're going to see how can we create a small utility library to help us with RxJS debugging. What we want to do is to create our own RxJS operator called debug that it's internally based on do. So one way of doing it would be for example, uh, in this case I'm going to do it here directly inline, the, a small utility, we are going to build it right now. We are going to take the observable class, we are going to add an extra method, so all the operators are here available in the observable class. So if we take a reference to the observable class prototype, we can now add here a new property to the prototype, which is a function. So we are going to define a function and the name of the function is debug. The function is going to take as argument a string, which is our message. And take a look. We are seeing here that the property debug does not exist on type observable of any. Now, how can we solve this? Let's take care of the type definitions in a moment. We are going to have to extend the observable type definitions in order to be able to do this. Now, how will debug work? Debug will simply call internally the do operator. So we are going to call this dot do. And at this point, what we're going to do here is we are going to pass into the do operator three functions, one for logging the current value of the RxJS observable, a second function to log errors and a third function to log completion. So how will this look like? We can define the functions in line here. We are going to call uh, here to the first function. It takes one argument, which is the next value. And the body of this function will simply call console.log. It's going to log the message and it's going to log the next value. So we can simplify this function because it's only one line. We can remove here the curly braces. So this is a simplified implementation of this logging function. But we don't want this function to be logged all the time. So we would like the logging to happen only if a certain logging level is turned on. I'm going to do here a simplified implementation of this logic. We are going to say that there is here a variable which is debugger on. And so whenever this flag is set to true, the logging is happening. If it's set to false, we should not have any logging. So let's add back the curly braces here and let's add here a if condition. If the debugger is on, then we add some logging. Otherwise, nothing will be logged. So we could populate this debugger on based on some environment variable like we are doing here. That would be a possibility. Now, the next function that we are going to implement is the error handling function. This is going to be very similar to the success handler that we have here. So we are going to copy paste it. We're going to call this the error that just occurred. And we are going to say that if an error occurred, then we are going to console.error both the message and the error that we received. And last, we are going to log observable completion. So this function takes no parameters. And in this case, we are simply going to log here observable completed. And we are going to add the message that we added here as well so that we can identify which observable was completed. Now we still have a problem here, which is debug does not exist on type observable. So how can we solve this? Well, the type definitions of observable do not include debug, but we can extend them. So type definitions are in general open for extension. So what we need to do is to first open the type definitions for extension in the following way. We are going to declare a module rxjs slash observable. So this does not override the declarations of the module rxjs observable. It, this will be merged with the declarations that already exist to create a common set of typings. So what we're going to do here is we are going to say that for the observable type, so the observable type has a generic type of T and it's an interface. We're going to add here the debug function. We're going to say that the debug function takes 
any number of arguments so an undetermined number of arguments and we're going to say that the debug function returns an observable of the same type so we are not going to change the parametric type of the return of debug if it takes an observable of fred it will return an observable of fred so this is just like the do operator so as you can see this already solves here the typing error that we had so now the debug operator is known by the observable type definitions and if we jump here to the effect service we can see here that these statements here are compiling correctly and if we hit command and click into them we are going to be sent to the type definition that we added here so let's give it a try let's try out this utility function and see what does it look like when we run our program if we switch back to the browser we can see that everything is still being logged as before as expected so we have here action received and here we have the action logged we have here data received via the http request notice that this is all in only one line so it's really convenient to know to which logging statement does the log data belong to so let's go back to the program we have here the possibility of adding debug statements to rxjs operator chains so probably in the future there will be utility libraries to help to debug rxjs we should expect uh, an ecosystem of libraries to show up in the next few months but in any case this small utility function would already help a lot in your daily rxjs debugging needs so i invite you to try out this uh, simplify the logging utility and let me know what you think of it